like his pet. I'm looking after him and letting him stretch a leg or eight. Uh, mm -hmm. You know what? We I could use him. him. Hop him down the trouser leg of those bikers. <laughs> Secrets of great gardening. BBEM. Ben Bishop's elephant manure. Oh, smell that, it's great. Oh, no. No, go on. Put it away. <laughs> Make your daisies grow like sunflowers. <laughs> right, I'll get the list. She is a stone swallow, but it's not that unusual. Sea lions often swallow stones to give them ballast for diving. If she's overdone it, though, I'm going to have to operate. Have you ever not met a sea lion before, Donald? Never. I only hope this immobilon works as well as it does in dogs. Well, I think sea lions are more like cats than dogs. Would you look at that? Oh, crumbs. That's what comes of feather clipping pelicans. <laughs> it's not that funny. That bird cost me a fortune. I want to own and how many more to go. Right. Here he goes. There he go. Let's go away, boy! 
By the name of all that's wonderful, they are getting out. And just like that. Look at my neck. It's like that film. What was it? The wooden horse. By Jove, young man, you gave us a bit of a fright. <laughs> How are you feeling then, eh? Ready for a bit of the old tonic? Oh, thank you. Oh. I'll be all right now. Thanks to you, Ethel. Oh, Mr. Turner. Mind you, Immobilon's a member of the uh, opium family. I feel as high as a kite. Well, now, you just stay here until you get over that stuff. Do you hear me? The doctor says he can go home after a good night's sleep. Oh, I can have another bash of that sea line. Mr. Bishop, I do think I ought to go straight to the cottage. It's been the most terrible day. I know, I know, Ethel. I'm just saying, let me give you something that will do you a bit of good. Now, come, no, no, no arguing. You just sit there. It took a lot of good for to do what you did for us, Donald. There's nothing, really. Oh, I don't know. Without that antidote through his britches, I'd be looking for a new bet. Mr. Bishop. Now, I always say, at times like this, there's nothing like a little glass of champagne for a relaxing one. But, Mr. Bishop, <laughs> I don't drink. Ethel, this is not drinking. But I'm a daughter of the chapel, you see. So? John, too? Remember John, too? <laughs> oh, John, chapter two. The marriage of Cana. Hmm? I didn't know you were a religious man. Well, I wouldn't say that. I was just making a point, you know. Oh. Well, thank you. Mm. Hey, you know Paddy Riley lost a fiver on the day that Donald split up with Morris Webb? How? Well, he bet George Helliwell that you'd stay with the other fellow. Mr. Webb, you mean? Mm. Oh, I didn't know I was the subject of a bet. Mm hmm. Go on. Mm. Mm. You're really quite fond of young Donald, aren't you? <laughs> I'm impressed with his sense of application. You don't mind me asking, but you've never married or had children, have you? You don't think I'm mothering him, do you? Oh, no. Well, there are times when I find him quite infuriating. But you are happy here, aren't you? Mm. Of course I am. There's nothing I find more satisfying than... Did you hear about the caesarean that Mr. Turner performed on the lioness called Polly last week? Yes, I think I did hear about it, in London. <laughs> <laughs> this is delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, I took every one of those little lion cubs out of its membrane, as Donald handed them to me. He had his hands full, controlling the bleeding. But I brought every one of those cubs into the world. I go and have a little peep at them every day on my way past. Ah, there you are. Must be nicer than working for old Webb. Well, it's different, anyway. Mm. How long did you work for him, eh? Oh, ever since the war, really. I needed a job. It seemed to be about the only thing I could do. And I knew Morris. But you're not from up here? No, but I was stationed up here. I was in the wives, a medic. Oh, that's why you wear those wings. No, not entirely. Well? They were given to me. You see... Mr. Bishop, I really do think I should go home to bed. It's getting quite late. No, 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 come on, Ethel. Just finish your glass. Now, you were saying. Saying? Well, all about the brooch. It was given to me by someone. Someone very special. Oh. Oh, I see. Frederick, without a K. He and Morris Webb had been to school together. He was a pilot. When I was posted up here, I met him and he introduced me to Morris. Frederick flew Arican. He was going to read law when it was all over. 